So then it's time to look forward to the FAI Senior Cup Final for 2022. Derry City playing against Shelburne this Sunday at the Aviva Stadium in Dublin. I'm delighted to say. Uh, soccer writer with the Derry Journal, sports writer with the Derry Journal, Kevin McLaughlin joins us to look forward to the game. Hi, Kevin. Good to see you. How are we watching? Kevin, I'm utterly disappointed. You don't have your Derry City colours on you. No, no, no. You know, professional to the, the core. Uh, we'll worry about that after the final whistle on Sunday. Uh, and then we'll maybe have a few colours on then. I mean, you could have had the wee thing around the neck at least, or even a wee cap or something <laughs> on you, Kevin. But no, anyway, no, no. what's the buzz like around the city? Oh, it's it's tremendous, I have to admit. I haven't seen this buzz since possibly the 2006, 2007 European runs and stuff like that. It really is like the, the players are going out on the schools. The schools are doing a uh, sort of non-uniform day on Friday. Bring your dairy city and your red and white stuff to schools. Look, as I say, the feel-good factor is here. It's all about now all roads leading to Dublin on Sunday. Yeah, it's, and it's nice to have a feel-good factor around the club. Listen, as we go into the cup final, um, from Derry's perspective, it's been a it's been a good season with one game to go, finishing second behind the champions, Kevin. It has. Uh, it, it could have been, you know, a great season with four games to go. They were right on the hunt for the league title. Uh, things went awry then. But look, uh, you offered a Derry City fan at the start of the season, second spot on a cup run, they would have taken your hand off. And that's exactly what they've got. They've closed the gap to Rovers and now they have a cup final on Sunday against Shelburne. Yeah. Uh, Sadio Diallo was ruled out after having been sent off. Uh, he's not going to play in the cup final. How big a blow is it and how can Derry cope without him? Well, it is a blow because he's been playing regularly. He's, he's come in in the summer and actually made his debut down at Fun Harps in that game where him and Patrick Magalini, particularly Patrick that day at Bally Buffet, turned things around and Derry won it 2-1. But Diallo, look, he knows himself he was stupid. He lashed out and, and he, he retaliated, so he had to go. But probably centre midfield is, is a the sort of one position where Rory's got a, a luxury of midfielders in there. So if it had been maybe a centre half or a left back or a right back, he might have struggled. But centre midfield, while he's a loss, he's got enough players that can replace him. Like a Joe Thompson, Brandon Kavanagh, they're all going to be champion at the bat. They, they can get on the starting 11. Now, obviously, Shelburne had known for a number of weeks from the cup final and they really had nothing to play for. Derry were, were sort of chasing the titles, so they were. But uh, they've stuttered in their form over the last number of weeks. Who would be the form team going into this? Who's going to carry the form into the cup final, do you think, Kevin? Well, I have to be honest with you, both teams have been disappointing the last four or five games. Shelburne will sort of feel that they came to Brandywell and ended Derry's title hopes that night when they got the point. Uh, they had... They got a great result in a couple of weeks later where they scored five or six. But then they, they suffered a heavy loss uh, the week before, just last week against some Pats. Yes, they're going to be one eye in the cup. I, I get all that. Derry on the other side, look, they they, they struggled. The, the draw against Shelburne, and then the disappointing draw at Sligo on the Monday night. And more worryingly for Rory Higgins is Derry haven't scored in their last three games. Drew 0 no with Slego, beat 1 0 with Shamrock Rovers, and beat 1 0 with Dundalk. So that's a wee bit of a concern. But look, because both sides had one eye in the cup final, they were given, they were making changes, they were giving boys game time. You're basically, if you're Damien Duff and Rory Higgins, you're going to be sitting this week saying, we give everybody their, their time sort of off down tools for a couple of weeks or whatever way you want to describe it. But this is why we've done it. We're all focused on Sunday. Yeah, huge game. And as we know, anything can happen on, on, on Cup final day, Kevin. But experience can be a telling factor. Would Derry maybe age it having more players and maybe more of the backroom team involved in an FEI Cup final day? Well, yeah, uh, definitely both's correct there. To be fair, Damien Duff might reply to you that, you know, have you played in many World Cups with Ray Higgins or Alan Reynolds? Or... <laughs> but no, don't get me. I know what you're saying. Like, uh, but player wise, I think, yes. Experience for, for, for Derry is is definitely twofold. We've got like Mark Connolly, maybe not an FAA Cup winner, but he can cross the water in Scotland, done won a few things. You then, through the sort of spine of their team, Jimmy McGonagall's played in two Irish Cup finals. You then have Patrick McAlinney, Cameron Dunnigan been there, done up by Dundalk, Michael Duffy, Shane McAlinney's played in a lot of experience under his belt too. 
Uh, and young Brian Maher, while you know, he doesn't have that much experience uh, in cup winning and stuff like that there, he has played in a lot of big games. Obviously, we earned under 21s in the playoff heartache this season, so he's played in big games too, young Maher. Yeah, Derry will obviously be seen as favourites then for this one. Well, they are in the bookmakers' eyes. Uh, I think that, um, you know, if you went sort of squad by squad, then yes, Derry should be rightfully our favourites. But if you look at the games this year, every game against Shelburne has been very close. Derry have won twice down at Tolka, won up by the odd goal, last minute goal, late goal. Shelburne have won at the Brandywell, 2 1. A Mellor's game, and our game was a draw, you know, and that was a couple of weeks ago when Joe Thompson equalised late on. So it's, they've been tight, they've been close affairs. And having spoken to a few people this week, you know, Shelburne's style of play will suit playing against Derry City. It's sit in, let Derry come at them, and then hit them the counter attack. Yeah. What about the Aviva factor then? Who's that going to sit? Will that suit Shells as well, do you think? I, I don't, listen, it's, it's, uh, we're speaking here what, Wednesday, so we're just going to sort of look at the way, way things are, weather way and stuff like that. The big thing is Saturday, you know, Ireland's playing rugby on Saturday against Fiji on the Aviva pitch. If it's last time rain, the pitch is cut up, then no disrespect to Shelburne, they'll be quite happy with that. But if the pitch is in any way decent shape or fashion, dairy and a grass pitch this season has proven they'll be hard to stop. Yeah, you mentioned Damien Duff there, and obviously he's played at a World Cup. But what's the Damien Duff factor with with shells? Well, Damien, to be fair, Damien, he's, he's got the team working hard. They're they're very you know defensively good when they go forward. It's just, you've got Boyd up front as well. Mark Coyle settled on superbly well coming down from Harps. A blow for them actually is Matty Smith, who's all known from Derry City. It can't play in the final because of that fact. He's done well for them since he's come in. Uh, Moulin and midfield too Jack Moulin's another boy it's done well and scored a few goals so they have it they've a bit of experience in too with the likes of Sheen Griffiths and Brenton Clark and Nets has the experience so look yes while they've a young squad they've a lot of legs in their squad too so uh, uh, look I expect it to be a close game I'm not going to deny it yeah um, any other injury worries for, for Rory Higgins I know you attended a press a day earlier on Wednesday uh, where there was players there and management and What's what's the feeling around the, the actual camp as we head into a cup final? And is there any wor- any other worries apart from the aloe for, for Higgins? No, that's that's what he's been saying. He says, you know, and he alluded it uh, at the presser that look, after Shelburne, that really was our chances gone from catching Shamrock Rovers. So then it was all about managing minutes, managing players' minutes, and managing players that may need to be called upon, giving them game time. So he's a fully fit squad. And it's now basically down to the players now. Uh, everybody's there, ready to go, champing at the butt. Uh, but they're very relaxed. I have to admit that today. There was a lot of you know, feel-good factor and let's get ready to go. And they just can't wait for it now. Yeah, where's the goals going to come from if they've dried up then over the last couple of weeks? Well, like, they have the talent there. Like, as I say, uh, you have McGonigal, you have Akintunde, you have Patrick Magdalene, Michael Duffy, Patchen. Like they have the talent there to get them. Uh, it's just taking the chances. That has been the big factor this season. They, 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 they've created so many chances in games where they should have killed teams off and, and hadn't. But I just think, as I say, it all depends on what our great, lovely Irish Wheeler in November is like. If the Wheeler is any way decent and the pitch holds up from the rugby, then it'll suit their idea to you, I think. Right, okay. Uh, just two more questions for you. From a club point of view, and we all know that that, that Philip Bodardi has been instrumental in, in helping this progression with Derry. There's been huge in, investment there. Uh, how big a return is an FAI Senior Cup in, in year one under the management of Rory Higgins? I think it's a massive return, uh, particularly as you say, year one. Uh, I think they had a sort of two or three year project of what way they want to go. And one of the, the the FAA Cup gives the players and that squad an unbelievable confidence going the next year. And if you're Shamrock Rovers, you're definitely looking over your shoulder. You were sort of looking over your shoulder this year with four games to go and Derry faded. That belief, that confidence, and that hunger, if you do want a cup but you want more, will be added to it. So Philip will be, and the club will be over the moon if they can win the cup. And it gives you, as I say, that belief and you know, it just depends on the, the hunger then for next year. Shamrock Rovers, can they keep it going? There's so many of them have been there, done that. Derry, on the other hand, 
they've got one test of trophy if they won it. Can they get the end of the big one the league the year after? Mate, call it now, Kevin. What's it going to finish on Sunday? Close one. I'm not going to lie. I think it's going to be a close one. I will not be shocked if it goes to extra time and penalties. Right. Oh. <laughs> because of that, I'm just going to see Derry snick it. Either 1-0 or 2-1 Derry. Okay, we'll wait to see if you're right. Listen, Kevin, thanks for joining us and uh, the very best of luck at the event Sunday. Uh, you're going to be sitting high in the press area watching down and hope you get the result you want. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Archie.